What's this thing on? Hello everybody, it's me Technojock back with another Forever Stranded for you. That's right, I'm back from my holidays and I am raring to go. So much so, I am risking life and limb on top of the building that houses our nether star generator. I want to make a quick build here that is going to help us out greatly. Um, I'm getting to the stage now that I'm wanting to make things like ender chests and coloured wiring to go around all the place. I'm running out of dyes, um, so I want to make a quick dye farm. Um, regular followers in the channel will know I quite like making a dye farm, because what's not to like? And I want to do it over here just to keep it out of the way, because there's going to be some items on the ground occasionally that I don't want to get hoovered up by our electromagnet when we're flying around doing just normal things and stuff and whatnot. And I think I want to start off with putting our drawer controller down. And I think I want to put it down here. And then I'm going to take these drawers and I'm going to put down just the two sets of those because... Uh, oh no, we're going to need four sets of those, sorry. Because that is going to be one for every color of the Minecraft rainbow. Um, and then I'm going to put in things into them in just a second. But the main part of this is going to be um, this um, atomic reconstructor. That's the word I was looking for. Atomic reconstructor. And I'm going to put it into the floor just here. Bye-bye. Uh, That's gone. I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to put it in, hopefully, that way up. Cool beans. That's nice. Right, and we're going to have some redstone. In fact, I do want it above the ground. Come to think of it, I'm going to... Yep, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. That uh, was silly of me, but never mind. Um, let's just put that there. And hopefully not die. We're going to be close. Two. One. Ooh. That was nasty. Right, so let's not do that again. Um, and I want to put a lens on here, but not just this lens. And I also want to get, I should have now, uh, a dimensional transceiver ready for the power for this as well. And I will need a redstone torch, which I shall just make quickly like this, because I want to whack this thing like that. There we go. And I want a button just now. No buttons. Okay, so I need some stone just now. Just a regular one bit of stone for a button. Thank you. Put that on the side and it will... Well, it won't do anything at the moment. And I can't get rid of that. Right, okay. Dimensional transceiver underneath. And we are wanting to do power, please. Main power, receive. Um, and that, that should be it. Yep, that is getting power nicely. If I press this, cool. Ooh. I didn't know, know that it would travel all over like that. Nice. Um, and now, if I had some building blocks, I would be able to do some stuff. Let's get this key just now. Let's lock this and then I can put the advanced item collector there. So this is going to collect the dies that we have shooting out of this thing. I need some glass of some description. Uh, clear glass. Not that quite clear glass would be nice. I think, because we want to see what's going on in there. And I'm going to... No. There we go. So I can put it like that. And round... Oops. Of course you get this stuff back. And we'll build it up a little bit more like that, and then we're going to want this automatic precision dropper 
on the top. And I think, no, it needs to be done when I'm underneath. Right, let's take these corner ones off just for the moment. We'll put them back on at the end. But just for the sake of doing it just now, I want to be underneath to place that like that. Excellent. And I'm going to leave that off. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to leave one of them off for the moment. So the precision dropper will precisionally drop things as they're put into it. Cool. That's kind of cool. Don't know if I really want it to do all of that. Right, anyway. So that's cool. That's going to do that just exactly how we want it. And then when we press the button, the pulse will go up there. So let's get this lens. In fact, I don't need to do that. I can do it in this one. Let's get this lens. Throw it in here. Press the button. And there we go. We get a lens of color. Now if I right click that on there. And now we throw in a bit of bow meal, press the button, you'll see it changed it into an ink sack. Cool. Um, and now I'm going to go, we start off with white, we go to black, let's go to the next color. Oh, of course it's going to be picking it up. Maybe we don't want that on there at the moment. All right, let's press the button again. In fact, let's just let's just throw down a whole stack. Press the button. So it's turned it into the uh, black die. And then we've got red. So I'm going to take one of these, put it in there. And then I'm going to throw down the rest into the thing. Press it. And this time we get cactus green which I'm going to put in there. And then I'm going to put these back in here and continue to do this right the way through until we've got one of every single die. And I'll come back when I've done that and it's morning. How about that? All right, that's us all full up. That's the order that they go through in, going up like that in each column from the bottom. Um, not that the order that they go in matters particularly. Um, and now I want to try something with redstone control. So I've got these redstone, redstone, minestrone, no, redstone minimum upgrade things. So it emits a signal for the least full slot. And these have obviously got uh, several slots per thing. So we want to put in one into each of these. And I am assuming that it's going to be emitting a signal for these um, that should, um, so I will stop emitting when it's full. So, you know, when they're all full, there isn't a least full slot, and I'm hoping that there won't be any, you know, any redstone being emitted. I have yet to test this. So let's get some redstone conduit stuffy. And actually, I'll get some normal redstone as well, which we're getting relatively low on, I've got to say. A little bit uh, concerned about that, but I have got that situation in hand, um, and I will be doing something about that. It's not going to be particularly exciting. It's going to be a wood farm for witches, so I'm going to do that off camera. But it is one of the things I was wanting uh, colored ender chests for, because I wanted to not have to run cables to get it all plumbed in. Right, let's see. So that is not emitting any redstone whatsoever that I can see. Um, let's take this off and see, is that actually emitting? See, that is actually emitting a redstone signal. So we might need to do this slightly differently. Um, that's fine though. I can cope with that. Let's do this the slow way. 
Thank you. And let's move these. So I'm going to need my packing tape, which is probably going to break any second now. There we go. Let's get another one of those on the go. They're not very difficult to make, but it's just a bit of a faff. But I have to do that all the time. These things don't last very long, unfortunately. Right. Of course, I don't have an axe or anything on me, but it's not like this is the slowest pickaxe in the world. Less haste, more speed. Where did that go? Come here. Yeah. Can't quite get to it. There we go. Right. So, if we go over here with these, we can go like that. And I think it would probably be best to place this on that. There we go. That can go away, and now, so that's going to, see so that is admit, emitting a power, why is that, has it got something to do with this? So that's a power of one, ah, right, okay, so it's going to emit a redstone That doesn't make sense. Why is it emitting a redstone for the least full one? The least full one there has one in it. What happens if I take all of that out? It's still got a power of one. Right. right that shouldn't be emitting any power now. No, it is not. Right. So, if I put in that, still a power of zero. Hmm. This may not be very helpful. That's, uh, that's not great. Unless, unless I do it for the most full. No, again, that's not gonna, it's not gonna help. Because that's got five stacks of bone meal in it, but it's still not emitting any redstone at all. Because some of them are empty. No, this might actually work. This might actually work then. Because if it only emits a redstone signal 15 once they're all full, then that works. Then we can do a, an and thing with this. Okay, let's get a couple more of these building blocks from over here. Oops. Let's uh, try and actually pick them up this time. Right, that should do us just now, because what we want is that there, and that there, and that way we can go like this. This will work. This will work. Honest. Right. So now we've got an output that's separate. So that's separated from that, because we can't have it out the back, otherwise they join up and transmit to each other. So this should be fine. So now what we've got is, we've got this is going to, each one of these redstone outputs will output a signal strength of 15 only once each of these is full. That's cool. That's fine. That's what we want. And then we can go like this, like that, like that, and like that. Okay. We're going to come to the middle, like there. Ah, no, that's not going to quite work. We need to make an AND gate. Need to make an angle because what we want to do is once all of them, all of these are full and all of them have a signal strength of 15, we want it to disable this dropper and we want it to disable this 
uh, atomic reconstructor as well because what it's going to do is it's going to continually drop bone meal because bone meal is what we've got the most of um, and it's going to continually turn that bone meal into um, all the other stuff and when we have this on top of it this will pick up well this will pick up any of the dye things that we've got and put them into the relevant drawers. If there's no room in each r drawer then it will not pick it up so it will pulse again or on the next pulse anyway it'll turn it into the next die and if there's space it'll pick it up if not it'll sit there until the next pulse of this thing and until such times as it's gone through all of the colors turning the the bone meal into whichever die there's space for in the drawers once all the drawers are full it'll turn off this thing it'll stop dropping more um, more bone meal that should work back in a second once I've figured out how the redstone's gonna work though right I think I have it sorted out now what I have got here is I've changed the output or the input really the redstone control for these two redstone mode pulse so and this one as well that's what it was on before but I've taken the button off and put it over here so they're both controlled by the same redstone signal which comes out the back of this block here and travels over through this repeater into the atomic reconstructor and it goes up via this redstone conduit here and comes out and goes into the automatic precision dropper. Now the redstone repeater is set to a delay of four ticks so the dropper will fire off and drop the bone meal um, a little bit before the atomic reconstructor goes off so it's got time to drop out of there and then as it falls it'll get hit by the lens of color uh, the pulse coming up through this through the lens of color and change it so let's see this in action and there it goes cool and it got hoovered up by this you'll see the ink sacks are at four turn off this but it didn't seem to make too much difference actually having the that on but there it goes again and that should be up at five no it did not did I run out of something it didn't seem to work there but that one did and yeah that's gone up to five I don't know where the other one went to maybe it actually picked up this yes because it's still picking up bone meal as well we don't have that full up let's fill that up so we don't have that being an issue bone meal please um, and that should now be completely full yes it is and I will put the extra into here which we will need to do for the time being yeah happy 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 so that's going to do that nicely and yep that's up to six cool obviously I'm not going to stand here doing these one at a time um, by this button so what we are going to do is we're just going to have this done by a clock we're going to have a clock sitting here and controlling this so I've got one of these redstone clocks and I'll just pop it um, there for the time being but the problem with this is this clock, see how quick that pulse is? It's not a very nice, long, sustained button press like that was. So let's take one of our redstone repeaters and get rid of that. Stick that up to four again. And um, we'll take this over here. And that's a much nicer, much nicer pulse. So we'll take that over and it goes in there. Oh yeah that that works nicely um, I do want to have a shut off on this though because that's going to get very annoying very quickly so let's grab ourselves a lever and we'll put that shut off on top of that thank you and now we will disconnect that like that cool excellent um, so that's fine we've got in fact, that lever really can go on top of the clock. Yes, that's what I'll do. Um, perfect. That means we can still manually do one like that. 
excellent. So that's the manual shut off there. That's the the manual do one at a time. Cool, very happy. Now obviously this thing running like that will just happily continue doing all of that until this is completely empty, but we're gonna have this full up and we don't want it continually doing that, filling all this up and then pouring more and more stuff in and we're just gonna end up with a, with a huge amount of stuff sitting here, constantly getting changed in between. So that's why we got this set up here um, with the, the output from uh, the storage drawers. And as you might just be able to see there, I have got these these conduits are going to be picking up the signal from the redstone output and I've got that one set as blue, that one set as brown, that one set as green and this one set as the default red and we can bring this over. So what we need to do is we need to stick these into a series of ands. So we need to say when this one is got a, a redstone signal of 15 and this one's got a redstone signal of 15, and when this one's got a redstone signal of 15, and then this one's got a redstone signal of 15, which is why we've got this set up over here. But um, I need to just tweak it a little bit because at the moment it'll have enough of a redstone signal just when it's got a little bit of stuff in there. Um, that it'll turn off the redstone uh, control. But I'm going to bring this over and let you see what I mean. What will happen is we'll come over here like that and then um, we will take our Yetta wrench and by shift left clicking on this we can select the down which is the green hardened clay. Change that to the blue one. Um, and we set it to a strong redstone signal and the mode in out and you'll see it's now connected and once that blue signal actually has sufficient coming out of it um, which I will simulate by putting a redstone torch there you'll see that turned off that redstone torch but the thing is even a redstone power of one will be sufficient to do that um, so I need to put in comparators here as well to uh, just make sure that uh, we've got uh, a power, um, a, you know, a decent level of these. We don't want it just turning off when we've only got like five dies. So what we want to do is um, we want to take some of these and build it up a little bit here and I want a comparator, which I don't have on me. It only just occurred to me about this. Comparator, and I should only need the one, but I'm gonna take two, and I'm also gonna take a lever whilst I'm here, because a lever is probably our easiest way of getting a redstone signal of 15 at this juncture. So I want to say this is going to come over and we're wanting that in mm -hmm. or ooh, would that work? Right, this has got a redstone power of one. Let's take that off there just now. Can I put that on there? That no, that's really going to be messy if I do that. Really going to be messy if I do that. Let's just go back to that. Um, and that still is the brown one. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm going to have to go in like this, aren't I? Like that. And I'm going to have to bring that cabling on the outside. It's going to be a little bit messier than I had originally wanted, but to be perfectly honest, this is a kind of a tumble down look over here anyway, so I'm not going to sweat it really. Um, so that will go there fine. This one, I want, yeah, I want that there. So, do do grab this. That like that, that like that, and yeah. 
So that should be good there. And take this. That no, that goes on there like that. That's going to be the blue one because that's the one that's just there. Um, so we want to say blue. In fact, we'll do the brown one. Let's do the brown one over here because that one is getting a signal and we'll be able to see what happens because um, if we did it at the moment, it would not. It would give a signal and it would turn off this and we do not want it to do that. So that is on there and it isn't giving a signal. Cool. If I if I say like no redstone dust. Oh. Brown. That one's brown. It is a signal there. Hmm. That should be a strong signal? No, and it's still a power of zero. That should be a power of one. Unless because that's only a power of one. If it was a power of two, maybe this would be a power of one. Okay. We we need to get a bunch more lapis, a bunch more cocoa beans, and a bunch more yeah, lapis and cocoa beans, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Cool. That's exactly what it was. I've filled this up a little bit, so we've got a decent amount in each of those. And sure enough, the power has gone up to six on this. And this is power five here, and it has turned that off. So we do want to have that comparator in there. And that like that. Cool. Now, I've got a cunning plan for the power because... Uh, no, I do need it to be 15. I do need it to be 15, otherwise... It's not going to work. Right, so that has turned off that. That's, that's not ideal. I thought... Come on. I thought if we do that... Uh, maybe if we can. I want to have this comparator that sides with a level of 15, so it's checking to see if it's full properly. And there we go, right. So yeah, there we go, that's it, that's it. Perfect, so that's going to be power 15 there, so it's checking this signal against that signal. It's not power 15, so it has not disabled this. Excellent. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. Um, which means I can uh, plummet to my doom if I do that. But I can set up um, that there and that there because I also need that one there. Again, a little bit messy, but I want more comparators which I still do have two, perfect. And I want another lever, of which I've got an abundance. And so comparator there, comparator there, redstone dust there, lever there, power on. Excellent. That goes there. That goes there. That gets turned off. We disable these. Like so. We turn... Well, that one can stay on red. That one gets turned to green. Red, green, brown, blue. Perfect. And... To be honest, that can come... Uh, no, no, we do want it to come up to just to make it look a little bit smoother like that excellent so that should effectively be it there the second line of these 
these two, or either of these two redstone torches, power this redstone, powering this block, disabling this redstone torch. And the same for these two here. So we'll go like that and like that. And we need another redstone torch, so that's disabled like that. And then the output from that one and this one come over to this block here and the output of this one here. So when these ones get disabled by the signal coming in here, so once all these are full, the signals here will all be high. These will all turn off, meaning these will turn these will turn on, which will turn this off. Uh huh. Turns that off, which means we need to invert it one more time. Yep, we need to invert it one more time, which is perfectly okay. It's perfectly okay. So we'll do that, like that, and then like that. Yeah. So when this is powered, i.e. these are turned off, those are turned on, that's turned off, this will turn on, that will hold this steady redstone signal, can't pulse, things can't be dropped, can't be turned on. Perfect. I think, I think we have a workable system. By Jove, I think I've done it. Right, well, the only thing really left to do is to get a constant supply of bow meal over into this and uh, have a storage storage bus set up on that. In the meantime, what I think I might do is I'll very quickly set up a drop. Where, where is all my bow meal? My bow meal's all over there. Let me get export bus. Mm hmm export bus and some acceleration cards and a, uh, and a drawer, big one, cool. Uh, I've got packing tape on me. We should have sufficient in the way of uh, channels here. Let's go that there, export bus there. I don't have any fluid, uh, any fluid, any flux crystal on me, a uh, flux uh, cable, that's the word I was looking for, um, anything, I've got smart cable, lots of smart cable, cool, right, so one smart cable there, that goes on there, we're exporting bone meal, and we're putting all of those in there, that should do quite quickly. And then we can put this into. We'll get. Uh, we'll get conduit. We only need one really, and I don't really need that many speed upgrades for this. But uh, whilst it's doing, it may as well do. Um, how's that looking? That's full. That's full. So thirty-two stacks. Um. That should do two lots of the drawers over there. We're going to need a bit more than that. Whilst we're here then, let's grab just one of them. Don't imagine I'm going to need more than that. Um, get rid of that, that. I will need that. Um, don't need that at the moment. We'll need that, don't need that. Don't think I need that anymore actually. Let's do that. I'll get rid of that just now as well, because it's just a little bit surplus to requirements. So, um, conduit. Yeah, we've got three of them. That'll do nicely. Cool. How's that doing? That's more than enough. Let's not bother doing it too much more. What I will do in between episodes, I might even... I'm going to do one of two things. I might have an export bus for bone meal going into 
an ender chest and then the other ender chest being over here on top of this. That's probably the easiest way of doing it. But I still do need to get cable over here from the ME system to get the storage bus on there. So I may do another quantum ring thing. I probably will do another quantum ring thing because it makes sense really. Let's do extract always active insert there extract gets that that should be perfect going nicely it's a shame I can't make this drop a stack at a time but uh, well it is what it is uh, I could maybe do something maybe an annihilation uh, a formation plane instead of this I might play around with that in between episodes and see if a formation plane can do a stack at a time it might be able to. And then uh, I just need to put that on there. Right, let's turn it on. It's picking up the uh, ink sacks. So ink sacks are going up. It's just doing one at a time. That's going to take ages doing it one at a time. So, uh, do another stack, so ink sacks, six stacks. Let's grab a few things, because what will happen is at this point, this will filled up, and you see it's not picking up the ink sacks anymore. I am. So it's filled up the ink sacks, and now it's doing the red. Cool. Yeah, that's going to do it. That is going to do it, but I would quite like that to uh, do a stack at a time. But for the moment, for the moment, I'm calling that a semi-completed or completed enough build that I now have a, a decent supply of uh, of dyes and stuff, so I can make the boot. Uh, prism things, I can colour my cables, I can colour my ender chests, all that sort of shenanigans. So I'm very, very happy with that, guys. Um, so I shall say cheery bye for now, and say uh, have fun, and I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.